In this video, I'm going to cover the basics of how the PCG system works. So we are going to create this environment using PCGs. So if you are a beginner or if you are just curious about the new PCG system, I'm going to explain everything in detail. So to start, you need to go to plugins and you need to enable the PCG plugin. Once you have enabled this, you need to create a PCG graph. So I'm going to call this scatter. And this thing is very similar to blueprints. So we have two nodes right here. We have the input node and the output node. You can expand the input node. And here we have access to our landscape, right? So you can drag from the landscape. Just add a surface sampler node. So the surface sampler node basically scatters some points on the given surface. In our case, we have the landscape as a surface, right? So in order to visualize this, you need to debug this node. Either you can turn the debug on right here, or you can select any node and you can press your D key and that's going to debug that node. Now you can drag the PCG graph in your level. So we have some points scattered on a landscape, right? You can change all these settings in the surface scatter node. So you can change the density. That's the number of points scattered. So now we have scattered some points on our surface. Now let's add the transform points node. That's going to give us the ability to transform these points. So we have the min and max range for the position, rotation and the scale, right? So the transform node is very important to introduce some randomness in your scatter. So what we have done here is we have scattered the points onto a landscape using the surface sampler. After that, we have transformed these points and given it a random position, rotation and scale. And now we want to substitute these points and we want to spawn a static mesh onto each point, right? So for that, we are going to add a static mesh spawner. So first I'm going to add the trees. I have three tree meshes. These are static meshes. After that, just comment this to keep things organized. If you go back in the level, you'll notice that we have some trees on our landscape. Now this is where the procedural content generation system is damn powerful because now you can use the surface sampler node and simply reduce the density and change all of these options on the fly. And you can see how fast and effective this is. And this is completely non-destructive, unlike the foliage tools, right? After that, you can select all of these nodes and duplicate them. Now it's time to scatter the grass. So you can change some settings right here. So grass is going to be quite dense, right? And you can add some mesh elements right here. And simply assign the grass model. Now here each model has its own properties. So you have the collision properties as well. So for the grass, I don't want collision on. So I'm going to disable the collision. Now we're going to add the merge node and merge these two things. So we have some trees and we have some grass. Now I'm going to add some flowers as well. You can add rocks and other elements if you want. Now you have also used a new node called the density noise node. So to better visualize the flower scatter, I'm going to disable these links. So these flowers look good. Now we can use the density noise node. So this is like a noise texture, which affects the scatter. And this further introduces some randomness.
Okay, so this looks good. Now in the end, let me show you why this is so powerful. So let's zoom out. And now what you can do is you can simply select the volume and you can scale this. So you can see how powerful this is. You can like create a small section of your foliage scatter and you can apply it to the whole landscape. So I just wanted to teach you guys about the basics of the PCG system. I hope you learned something in this video. If you did, please leave a like down below. If you want to support the channel, you can check out my Patreon page. You can also check out the YouTube memberships thing. And that really motivates me to make more content for you guys. Thank you for the amazing support that you guys are giving me. And yeah, I'm going to see you guys in the next video.